Michael is from good stock. He's a strong young man. He will pull through this fine. Mm. I so want to believe that. Because I don't want to give up on him. Who's going to give up? We sure as hell aren't going to give up. We've held on this long. Some operations can be a success, Edward. The outcomes aren't always that. Spare me the double talk. Patrick did a fine job, but Michael went into that operation with the odds against him. Now it's Patrick's opinion, and it's it's mine as well, that Michael just isn't going to wake up. We should have stopped at nothing to keep that little boy in our house. Why in the hell would we let that thug Corinthus just come in and, Edward, and walk away? Edward, we can't change any of that. We could have kept him in the courts for months. We could have called the police and put him in jail. Oh, nobody's been able to keep Sonny in jail, not oh. for very long anyway. And Carly, Carly didn't want Michael anywhere near the quartermains. Oh. Oh, that's ER. I've got to, I've got to take this. No. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. No, are you sure? Your breathing's okay? Yeah. You're not I am not anywhere? going to keel over if that's what you're getting at. Now go on. Save somebody's life. All right. Take care. That's your quartermain. Oh. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Well, well, well it, it's sweet of you to ask here, but it's just that... We all knew that, that the operation might not be successful. But it's just a, a terrible shock to, to know that, that, uh, that Michael might not wake up. I'm so sorry. We failed, Michael. All of us. The people he needed the most. We... We knew that his life was difficult. He ran away from home on a daily basis. Every day, he was in danger. But, but we didn't listen, which was a, a real mistake. Because the worst that the Quartermains had to offer was better by far than anything that Carly wanted to give her son. Our family could have been a very positive influence on that little boy from the very start. But we didn't listen. No. We got angry. Instead of, you know, just personal dis disagreements, we, we, we let them become obstacles. And it was, as a result, Michael's gone and, uh, and will never wake up. Well, I understand regret. I mean, I know what it means to wish that you had made different choices. You know, before you got in so deep and... Before things got so complicated. But, Mr. Quartermain, your family has done such great things for this community. You know, because of Michael's tragedy, kids with brain injuries are getting world-class care right here in this hospital. Mm. No one's ever going to replace him. No. But thanks to the Quartermain, some good has come out of this terrible thing that happened to him. And maybe that'll bring you some comfort. You know, when the time's right. Thank you, my dear. Your family has been so kind to me. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. You know, uh, I know you dislike comparisons with Emily. Hmm? <laughs> but seeing you here and, and, uh, <laughs> and listening to you talk, it's as if she's here. When I need her the most. <laughs> You know, it was, it was good of you to spend a little extra time with Edward there. I can't imagine the loss he's going through, and if my resemblance to Emily helps him out at all, then, yeah, it's no big deal. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, I have been thinking, why don't you save us all a lot of trouble and take everything that you own and sign it over to Helena right now? I really, I don't get it. There's, there's got to be the only explanation is it's got to be like a casadine gene, some genetic malfunction that makes us do stupid things, make stupid romantic choices. I mean, look at me. I married a cheat, had a baby with a mobster, slept with a terrorist. 
I mean, what woman wouldn't run screaming from Jerry Jacks, huh? I'm not planning on running away from Rebecca and vice versa, right? She is not Emily. <laughs> Helena is setting you up. Think. How can I convince you that I'm not working for Helena? I mean, what's it going to take? Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing in Greece? <laughs> <laughs>